guys, welcome back to my channel. It's dinner time, I'm April. And as you know, Halloween is right around the corner. And I wanted to come up with something that's a little fun and different. So I came up with this Halloween ice cream sandwich. And if you want to know how I make it, then just keep watching. Okay, so for the sandwich part of the ice cream sandwich, I'm going to make a sugar cookie dough. So I went ahead and I'm measuring out two cups of all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of baking powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So I have my whisk and I'm just gonna mix all these dry ingredients together. Okay, I'm gonna take a separate bowl and I'm gonna add one stick of room temperature unsalted butter. I'm gonna crack one egg. I'm gonna add one cup of sugar I'm adding one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to take my whisk and I'm going to start mixing everything together. Okay, so now it's time to add my dry ingredients with my wet ingredients. And again, I'm going to take my whisk and just mix everything together until everything is well combined. So here's the time when you want to take your clean hands and you really want to get in there and really work the dough. Well, it is Halloween and I want my cookies to have that orange Halloween color. So I'm going to go ahead and add some orange food coloring to my dough so that I can get that orange color that I want. So now I'm working the dough to make sure that the orange is the right color that I want. This is Halloween, you guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. So my dough is all done. I'm putting some flour on my rolling pin and on my flat surface just to make sure that the dough doesn't stick. And I'm going to take the dough out. I'm going to start rolling it out and get it ready for cutting out cookies. and I'm going to dip it in some flour so it doesn't stick and I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out my cookies and then putting them on my cookie sheet. and I'm going to go ahead and let them bake between seven and nine minutes. So while my cookies are baking, I'm going to make a chocolate ganache. I have a glass dish over some simmering hot water and I'm going to drizzle this over my ice cream sandwiches um, when they're all done. So I'm going to add two cups of chocolate chips and I'm going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. And now I'm going to start stirring it until it's nice and smooth. So my cookies and my chocolate are already done. I let them cool down for about 10 minutes. You want to make sure everything is cooled down so it doesn't melt your ice cream when you start making your sandwich. So I'm going to grab a cookie and I'm going to take some of my favorite ice cream, which is Rocky Road, and I'm going to take a scoop and I'm going to put it on my cookie. And then you want to grab another cookie and you just want to place it on top. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to lay it back on my cookie sheet and I'm going to keep going. Now what you want to do is you want to put them in the freezer 
freezer and let them chill for a good hour or so, or at least until the ice cream gets nice and firm and hard. And then I'm going to pull them out and then we can eat and enjoy. So you guys, my sandwiches are done. I let them chill in the freezer for a little over an hour. The chocolate is set, the ice cream is firm, and they look incredible. You guys, give this recipe a try. I'll list everything in the description box down below and comment down below just to let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Have a safe Halloween and I will see you very soon. Thanks, bye.